everyone, this is Charm again and welcome back to my channel where we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. So if you're watching this video, then it means that you have the Let's Adult Planner with you. So I'm just gonna share this video on how I intended or how I thought about how this planner is supposed to be used. But of course, it's a fluid situation. If you guys want to use it in other ways, then of course, I'm not gonna stop you. But because some of the charts here might look confusing at first, I want to give you guys a tutorial or a walkthrough of the planner. To give you guys an idea what this is, it's a book and planner. It's a two-in-one. So what does that mean? It's a book because I included my six steps to personal finance in here that you can work on throughout the year. And of course, it's an undated planner that you can start using at any month of the year. The cover of this planner is a linen green cover with a yellow gartered band. And this just really would age very well. It has the words let's adult in front because I want you guys to have a positive outlook on adulting and we have a peace sign or our logo but it's really barely noticeable so yeah let's open up the planner so first page you will see is an introduction to the book it starts out by saying money has always been a taboo topic in the philippines and that's part of the problem so you guys know that everything that i do online it's really about encouraging people to talk about money because talking about that can do more good than harm and that's basically the premise of why i made this book so there is a how to use this planner here so this is probably where you found this video i said that this planner is not just designed for you to learn from it's also designed to serve as a tracker for your personal progress as you try to achieve your financial goals okay so there are six chapters in total so i'll talk about that in a bit here we have a key so this is borrowed from the bullet journaling system and what it basically is is an example of of what you can do when you're listing down tasks. So I have here three annual calendars for you guys, 2022, 2023, and 2024. So this is an undated planner, but of course we need to keep track of what day it is. So this is a good guide for that. So next page is we have achieving financial freedom, defining what financial freedom means to you. So this is like the preface of the book. It's not the first chapter just yet, but I wanted you guys to imagine what financial freedom means to you because it's different for everyone. I always say that personal finance is personal, so I want you guys to imagine what it would be like to be financially free and that would really help you with the rest of the content of this book so first prompt here is the goals page and i already showed you guys this in my goals video if you've seen that but what it basically is is a prompt for you to just jot down or doodle your goals here put in trackers etc and this is where you can list down your goals so i already suggested personal and financial goals but you can add any other goals so maybe you can add career you can add business you can add side hustle goals here so it's really up to you okay so next pages are things to check out and favorite memories Memories. So I really love this because this is something I've been personally using in my bullet journal before. So things to check out are just some things that you want to do for the year. So usually you would put this in the start of the year. But you can of course build on after that. So here we have prompts for your wish list. Things that you might want to buy this year. Watch list series or movies that you want to watch and places to go and places you want to visit and then i put three extras here that are empty maybe you want to read books maybe you want to listen to music albums podcasts watch youtube channels etc you can put them here okay next page is favorite memories and it's just in a table that says when what and why maybe you can look out your instagram feed for that but sometimes it's also nice to see and read why those moments why those dates were really important and really memorable for you to be putting it in your favorite memories so i would just write that down here when it happened what happened and why you love that memory so much all right so i really like that part as well so next is when did i last and savings logs or savings trackers. 
So when did I last is basically a table that provides you with a column for what particular item you are tracking and 12 months that you can put a check or the date in. So just for example, here we put in change my toothbrush, go to the dentist and change my bed sheets. So these are just really things that you would do maybe a few times a year or maybe even once a year. And it's good to keep track of them, not just in your brain, because we don't want to stock up our brain with very many information that we don't often need. So it's really good to use a planner or maybe even a calendar and put there when you last did. So you can put here when your dog should be vaccinated, when you had your car oil change. I will put some additional items here that you can put here. All right, so next is the savings log. And I've talked about this in a previous video before. But what it basically is, is like a meter wherein you can see your progress. It's a progress bar for how much you are saving. So you can use it for long-term goals, annual goals, sinking funds. So for example, here I have a meter for my earnings. I also have a meter here of how much I need to save for our condo and how much crypto investments I have so far. So it's just really whatever you want. So here you put on top the target amount. And then this is divided into 38 lines. So you just allot a value of what that bar means. And you can put the purpose here. And yeah, you can write it on pencil or just put a legend on the bottom. Next is the bills tracker and investments tracker. So for this is actually very straight to the point. It's how you would see your bills. So, um, it's great for bills that fluctuate, maybe grocery bills, um, gasoline, even electricity. So there is a box on the side wherein you can put in what bill that is. You can put the amounts beside the y-axis of the graph. And then of course you can put the months on the x-axis of the graph so you can see it go up and down over time and you just get to know your spendings more when they're like this so it's also a fun way of paying bills i know it's not everyone's favorite adulting thing to do so yeah this is parang at least it's fun doing it somehow okay and there's another one here it's a bigger table wherein you can use this for your credit card bills so there are some circles here where and you can put a color and you can put the credit card or debit card name beside it and you can also break it down on how much you've spent for each i will put some examples on the screen this is especially useful if you are using your credit card for multiple things so for example if you have only one credit card but it is divided by your parents expenses and your business expenses and your personal expenses and you only really pay for your personal expenses so you want to differentiate the amount for the others that you know they're just gonna reimburse you or it's a business expense yeah this is really just useful to have for that and the next is an investment tracker which is just a table that says date what type amount and note so for example i would say february 14 um what i invested in gold financial and then type i would put stocks or you can identify pse stocks if you want and then the amount and then notes okay if you have any um reminders for yourself and then you can do the same things mp2 cryptocurrency and yeah that's basically what this is for lang talaga and then okay this is the first chapter of the book so it says earn so the book is just a really small part of the planner i think each chapter is only around four pages and on the last page it is an action point so the six steps really is what i talk about all the time when i give webinars and all of that and it's basically first you have to earn you cannot spend what you do not have basically right so number two is you have to save and number three is you have to spend or you have to budget for your expenses so earn save and spend and that follows the formula 
income minus savings equals expenses. That's the first three steps. The next three steps are a little bit more advanced but equally important. Number four is to protect yourself. So protect, that means, you know, saving up an emergency fund, getting insured with the proper insurances. And then number five is to manage your debt. So if you are in debt or you know someone who's in debt, then this chapter is very important as well. And then step number six is to invest. So deal with the first five steps first and then it's time to invest. So I have some action points on what you can focus on for the next two months. So the next chapter comes between the second and the third month. So I will give you guys time, two months to be exact, to try on focusing on each chapter and applying it to your life. So for example, when it comes to earning, So my action point is to try and figure out how you can increase your income streams and how can you do that? First, identify what you're currently doing, what kind of income it is, how much you are earning from it, and how many hours per day you spend on your current income. So for example, you have a job, how much time you're putting in there. So after you make that list, you will make another list wherein you will list down all your skills and talents because I always say that you can almost monetize anything nowadays. If you search your skill or your interest online, I'm pretty much sure that you can find something that you can do with that skill so analyzing those two lists looking at the second list what side hustle you can do based on your skills interests and how can you earn from it basically right so that's chapter one let's take a look at what the monthly spread looks like okay so we have an empty calendar here like i said it's an undated planner so you can put in the dates here the days are already there for you i provided a blank page towards the side that you can use for anything you want and then we have a monthly tracker so this is a lot of habits of course you can make your font bigger so this is very similar to when did i last but it's for daily or weekly things that you have to do so you can put in here um drink your vitamins brush your teeth, do your skincare, work out, things like that you can put here. So we have 31 days here. So this is going to be used um, landscape. So we have that tracker right over here. And then we have a shopping list. So this can be like things that are lacking in the house already, um, groceries, and then we have your income and expenses, and then your intentions for the month. So it's very straight to the point. So I think I'm not gonna go into this already. All right, so next pages are just the weekly spread. So the weekly spread looks like this. It's just a Monday to Sunday and a blank dotted page. So you're free to do whatever you want. If you're an artist and you need place to draw, the paper is 100 GSM. And of course, a space to put in your to-do list and just tasks that you need to finish. So there's also a small but barely noticeable line towards the right wherein you can put in the dates if you want to and then also a space at the bottom wherein you can put in what week that is so example you're doing the 52 week challenge so this is especially helpful all right so we provided five weekly spreads every month i added a few more dotted pages towards the end and yeah i've worked on this book slash planner for more than two years now. I first had the idea back in 2019 and I still have so many more things that I want to do and I hope that you truly enjoy this planner. I know that you guys want to support me and that's a big reason of buying the planner but I really want it to help you guys out. Um, Thank you so much for buying the planner. If you guys are interested to buy more then I will put the Shopee link down below. There's also a bundle or a promo where and if you buy 10, meaning maybe you want to buy together with your friends or your neighbors, your family, then it's only for $4.99 instead of $5.49. So yeah, that's a special deal that I give to you guys. So I know that we all want to save here. So I'm made sure that I would be able to give you guys a discount if you bought more also. So yeah. 
yeah, again, the Let's Adult Planner is available on Shopee. You guys can get this there. And again, thank you so much for supporting the channel and buying the planner. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And again, this is Charm and I will see you in my YouTube channel and in my other videos. Bye! I want to leave you guys with something that I wrote at the beginning of the book. Reading this planner isn't a guarantee that you're automatically going to get rich and achieve financial freedom by the time you finish reading it. However, you will gain all the necessary tools and foundational knowledge that you need to help you get started on the road to achieving financial freedom. And I am rooting for you guys.